Hi guys, Denise here from Seesaw, and we are going to speed through this. So, um, this is the beginning. I'm, I'm getting my, my palette ready for the wax. I'm going to put a bunch of ink down there, going to finger paint. <laughs> and I wore gloves because I do have to go to work tomorrow, and, you know, it takes time to get that off. Um, that is uh, sapphire blue. Now I'm just going in with some uh, uh, brown some Havana Brown and that's not that's not what I'm going for but I'm gonna do it anyway because <laughs> the the picture is going the other direction but I just wanted to get some of those tones in there this is a uh, tangerine um, slapping some tangerine down there um, oh, a lot of these uh, colors um, came from my sharpies that we did um, I'll leave a link um, over here somewhere <laughs> um, now I'm using my uh, my air gun to just spread the colors out fill in the spaces um, kind of give me an idea uh, that's not the direction of my piece the piece is going to be going the other way and you'll see that <laughs> and you'll see that it's going to be really cool um, the reason why I'm doing voiceovers, guys, is because these videos can be over an hour long and uh, because of the time in between for drawing and all that good stuff. So I just want you to see what I'm doing to get to the best part. And of course, that's not going to be voiced over. <laughs> You're going to see that in real time when we blow the cells up out of here. Uh, that's my favorite color there. That's that uh, some kind of like pink or something we did with the um, what is it let me look uh, <laughs> it's it's basically sharpie sharpie red pink coral whatever it's gorgeous and look at that wouldn't that make a beautiful sky that would make such a beautiful sky I swear to god okay so um we're getting near the end here and um then I'm going to hi guys welcome back everything's dry we're gonna speed through this puppy we're putting down some uh, beeswax. Woo! Yeah! Watch the beeswax go. <laughs> it's so fun watching it in speed. Um, so, yeah. Clear beeswax. Then we're going to fuse it. Fuse it. Fuse it. Fuse it. Fuse it. Fuse it. <laughs> beeswax is relatively inexpensive. Thank God for the bees. Um, so, that's fusing it. Right? Heat gun fuses it to uh, whatever it's got going on and uh, now we're going to add the colors and this is where we add all the colors that are going to come out uh, in the end piece that I'm going to take my time and show you what's going on this is yellow <laughs> and I made this using a Darmar wax and beeswax and uh, some yellow uh, um, oil paint so uh, it's real easy to make this paint guys it's really inexpensive you don't have to get like you just and this is white and this white is made again with the Dharma beeswax pellets and I got I think I, th I got a pound I got two pounds no what is that yeah it's, it's a two pound bag for very little money um, and then you can just get your oil paints and make all your own colors it's really cool just be sure, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, um, spread your oil paint out on a cardboard, you know, before you add it to the melted wax, so that it gets a little bit of that oil out, and it works every time. It's great. <laughs> so I'm just laying down a base. I mean, this is the stuff that we're gonna be blowing up here. You know, uh, what you see going on here is just you got to think of it as base colors. We're laying down the base. All about that base. About that base. No trouble. <laughs> oh, my daughter used to love that singer. Okay, so um, we're just laying down our base. We're just putting an outline of uh, where, we, where we think things are going to be, where we want color to be. Uh, this is a... a green combo that I made up. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to throw it in the what might be a tree thing. <laughs> I don't know. We'll 
see at the end, but I I think um, I'm looking at the end piece right now, and I'm I'm my mind is blown. It's gorgeous. So um, we're on the right track. So I'm gonna speed through this. Um, I just I don't want a long video here. <laughs> Already I'm at 15 minutes. Um, and I haven't done the end piece yet, so that that disheartens me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put more white on top of that and white on top of all this other stuff because I understand that the white brings out the light, right? White brings out the light and um, I do want light so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put alcohol ink on there and this is um, Sapphire Blue by Jacquard. I'm going to slap that puppy right on there. <laughs> And uh, I think that's a chili pepper. Nope, that's a, a sun bright yellow. And I think she's gorgeous. So I put her everywhere because she's just so beautiful. And wait till you see what she did at the end. It's amazing, amazing. You know, it's how you layer your stuff. It's, it's, it's how it's all gonna turn out. So now I'm drying it a little bit. And um, oi, oi, oi. Uh, oh yeah, that's a cor coral, coral by Jacquard. It's just some kind of paint thing. I just popped her up there. She's really not good all by herself. She's she's pretty bold, but eh. and uh, that's Havana Brown. Havana Brown comes back, and um, I'm gonna just finger paint her in there because I really want to define. I want to be able to control this. Can you control chaos? I don't think so, but. You can have a semi-controlled chaos, and I think that's awesome. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And um, I think it's gonna work out. And uh, sure enough, at the end, guys, it did. It did, <laughs> it worked out. All right, so uh, again, I, I wanted to add some more of that sapphire blue in. I wanted to put it down there. Okay, <laughs> we're good, see you soon. Alright guys, so the ink is dried and now I'm just going to slap on shellac. That's right, slap shellac. I, uh, I added alcohol inks to color my shellac. It's alcohol based shellac and that's what we're doing here. So this is my white. I'm going to layer down, get her in there happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. <laughs> and as you can see she's uh, mixing with the alcohol inks underneath because again this is alcohol based shellac and this is an alcohol color that I added to it it's clear when I bought her um, and then I just added colors to her and uh, she's really good and this is why I wear gloves because <laughs> stuff goes everywhere <laughs> Um, this is uh, Tangerine. I'm gonna throw her down there. She's a good girl. Will you see what she does at the end? OMG. I'm gonna use a lot more of her in the future <laughs> because she was a good girl. Oh my god. Um, all these colors are great. So, um, so adding the shellac because we're gonna do a shellac burn. We're gonna fire this puppy up which is going to expose um, all the different layers of wax and ink and in in like a really organic kind of um, uh, cell like formation um, uh, that's what I love about this is that it, it the the look is so organic and so oh, it's just phenomenal um, so this is blue i'm using blue and um, i'm gonna put that all no this is the green oh my gosh yes the green oh my gosh wait till you see what the green did oh my god <laughs> and uh yeah when it comes to the burn guys i'm not gonna be fast talking around that stuff um i just wanted to kind of show you my process without um wasting too much time so here we are <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and add black now and black I have in the can because I had a little bit left in my, my I bought two cans of shellac a month ago and uh, so what I had left in, in the can after I made all my colors I, I colored it black I added black jacardi to it and um, I'm just gonna throw that in there throw it around and 
because uh, black really has a formative um, appeal. It does a lot of good stuff. Now I'm going to just let it go. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm I'm in like real time here. <laughs> I wanted to speed through that stuff so that you guys don't get bored watching my videos. I want you to see the magic at the end. Um, the basics are always going to be the same. Lay down your alcohol. Um, get your wax on. Wax on. Wax on. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to start uh, burning. And this is the fun part. So um, I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to take you down to one area. Uh, yeah, it's all stuck. <laughs> Not to be mistaken with my board, which I did scrape off last night. And um, we're going to be using these scrapings. Yeah, not sure where yet. Just we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> um, so, well. Oh. All right, let me get my glovies on because I have to go to work tomorrow. And I, yeah, yeah, I, I got some ink on here, you can see. I can't get that off. I've been trying. For some reason, when you add ink in wax and then get it on your hands, you're screwed. You're screwed. That ain't coming off. It don't matter. <laughs> it doesn't care. It doesn't matter. All right, we're just going to, we're going to pop some of this stuff down here. <laughs> shavings these are shavings um, this is the stuff I scraped off from the sides of my board here it's got lots of fun color in it so I'm just gonna pop it down here and it's beeswax and it's encaustic which has the Dalmar resin and it's got colors I like it I like it you you can come join the the party down here all right, there we go. First time. <laughs> I'm a virgin. Okay, so I have my heat gun. It's a Rex BD. I love it. And I'm hitting it up. And we're going to do this corner right now. We're just going to hit this one. You're probably going to melt these guys really fast. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You're melty. You mouthy. Look at your mouthy. <laughs> I I like the texture effect. We are uh, currently listening to Beethoven. Don't wear him out. He was a good guy. Uh, going up. We're going to move over to the shavings over here. Okay, I'm going to get you an angle dangle so you don't have the glare. Kind of gives you a really good idea how hot this heat gun is, right? you got to be really careful. You don't want to burn your wax. You don't want to... Mess up. So. You're just looking to get in there. touching this beast behemoth here yet <laughs> but we'll go to this side well, 
like the purple color. Where's that coming from? That is so cool. That is so nice. All right, going into the center. I'm, I'm really doing my best here to try to dictate how stuff happens. But I can't always do that, so. This is an experiment. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Look at that tree. You stay. You stay. We're going up here. <laughs> that was nice. That's kind of like a... Whoa, we don't want foam over here with heat. So how was your weekend then, guys? Oh, holy, that's nice. That's really nice. Uh, mine was good. Busy. I like busy. I really like busy. Busy is good. Ah, oh, yes. You wanna, when you, you don't wanna stay too long, guys. If you, if you like the effect, move on, because you'll make mud. You will make mud. All right, so let's just cruise on up to the sky here. And I know I have white and all sorts of pretty colors in here, so, um, it's just a matter of waking her up. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> I don't mean to hit the... Oh! Alright, I gotta move you guys out of my way because I can't actually hit it. And trust me, I am like, every time I do this, I am remembering my layering because if I want to replicate it, I got to know what I did, right? I got to know how I did it. Why do I love this over acrylic pores? Control. <laughs> That's right, control. You can't see it, okay? Let me get you over here. There we go. Um, you can't control an acrylic pour. I love the cells. The cells uh, in acrylic pours like feed in my brain. So does this. Look at that. Look at that. Come on now. But I can control that, right? In an acrylic pour, you have no control. Zero. Zip. And this is wax. This is wax. This is gonna last thousands of years. Oh. Oh no! I know! Look at you, beautiful babies. Oh, oh, oh. See, those are the colors that we built underneath. See that? Now we're going down along the side of uh, what could be a tree. Not sure. This is so cool, guys! Oh! Oh my gosh, we burned everything except the tree. Let's do the tree a little bit. I think especially in this zone here.
It's a zone. Don't wear her out. Now we added a lot of colors, remember? We added lots of colors here. We're done. That was awesome. That was awesome. Um. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. Oh, let's take a rip. Uh, buttercup. Anything dripping? Anything running? Nope, everybody's stable. Look at how pretty she is. She's so pretty, guys. This is our sky. Look at <laughs> so cool. And there's her, her branches going up into the sky. And then there's this. What is that? That is so freaking cool. I could go inside that thing for days. Just staring at it going, how deep do you go? Oh, we did real good with this one, guys. Another experiment into the possibilities that made a really gnarly ground I'm really happy with that uh, you can't really see it with the glare but it made a nice gnarly ground and I love the light and, and um, wait, I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying <laughs> look at this light I love it and look at these colors. Oh! The tree is beautiful. She is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I have so much more to learn with this. This is like awesomeness. It's, it's alcohol ink, my favorite medium. Um, wax, my second favorite medium, and the sky's the limit, guys. Sky's the limit. The more we can control it, the more fun we can have. Oh, sure, you could lay down pictures and and textures with rope and all sorts of shit, but that's not this. This is this. This is art for art's sake, guys. I love you. I love you. Thank you for following me. <laughs> I will see you soon, Chavela.